Meantime, though, the Garden hosting tonight's UConn Illinois game. Fans from all over trekked into Boston to get in on that madness. WBZ's Laura Hayfley talked to visitors and businesses looking to take it all in. The number one seed UConn pulled off the win. They're headed to Arizona for the final four, but fans of both teams filled the streets of Boston tonight to take in the madness. Two teams at TD Garden, UConn versus the University of Illinois in the Elite Eight round of March Madness. I'm so excited. They deserve this. They can do it. We're going to win. While fans filled the garden Saturday, others piled into packed bars for a glimpse of the action. There's thousands of Illinois fans coming in from all over the world, folks from San Diego, the Netherlands, and they're just excited to see their team make it so far and in such a great place like Boston. Hurricanes on Canal Street and the greatest bar on Friend held dueling watch parties for their favorite teams. Let's go! We love these guys coming back and especially all the people from you know, our town, different parts of the country, which is really cool. It, it helps everybody out. It helps the bars, the restaurants, it helps the, uh, you know, the hotels, you know, having these, uh, having a tournament like this. We have had UConn uh, here at the Greatest Bar since 2005. Uh, the gardens are lifeblood down here, and as long as the, the teams are playing uh, and the people show up, we're doing great. The game tipped off at 6. University of Illinois keeping up with UConn through the first half in front of fans who traveled to Boston for the big moment. We weren't expecting to come this far in the tournament, but it is amazing to be here and support the team. But there can only be one winner. UConn now heading to the Final Four. All of New England claiming the victory belongs to them. It was good to have the New England crowd here. It was like a home court. We're going back to back. Next stop, Phoenix. So UConn's headed to the Final Four in Arizona, but based on tonight's crowd size, New England will definitely be watching. In Boston, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News.